An advantage of using a more digital SLR camera over the iPhone also would be lenses. Um, you could do more wide focal lenses, more soft focusing, yeah, soft focusing. That'd be nice to have. A little bit more control over the light levels as well, instead of just doing all this all the time, being overexposed. But for the most part, my setup is doing what it needs to do. It's just a 4K filming rig. Um, it's got good audio now as well, it's resolved. It's smooth because of the Osmo. Um, I was using the Olo clip lenses, um, but when the iPhone 7 came out, no longer worked. I'm off the line too early. Now I'm having to wait again. These are nice little hats. If you ever come and visit me in New York, don't ask me to be your tour guide. I will get lost. There's loads of these squirrels in the park friendly most of the time. Things that I actually am quite liking um, about this camera is it actually has a remote app which since it doesn't have the a screen where I can actually see myself actually I can kind of see myself in the reflection which is quite nice. So I'm actually able to use the remote app um, to control different settings so let's have a try at this. Okay, it's pretty nice. I'm liking as well as you can see, like I can see what I'm looking at now. I can just give it a little check if I want. I can quit out the app and then I can carry on doing my entry, um, which is quite nice. And this is filming in 4K. When I'm doing some of my other work, it's actually only filming in 1080 because of the iPhone's camera limitation. So this is even better for you guys. Um, the fact that as well as I, what I can see here is the background's being thrown out. So I'm a lot more in focus, that's really good. Um, from my understanding as well is that this camera hasn't been updated yet with the latest software so there's even more functionalities I can control such as uh, touch focus settings and some other bits and pieces as well. Okay so I'm now actually just increasing the aperture so as you can see some bits are getting a little bit too white. Let's bring that back down again. Yeah, ultimate selfie mode, eh? So this is good. I like this. Um, bizarre holding like this because I don't have a tripod um, which is a bit of a shame. Nevertheless, it's, this is just a test to see how the footage looks like. If this footage does look better, then I will consider um, switching to a uh, digital SLR camera over using my iPhone. And I'll use the iPhone for other more mobile-based activities or using the time-lapsing. Look at this fat squirrel. Look at him. So fat. Notice as well straight away as, as I'm using this, the uh, image stabilization is gone now, so it's all well wonky. Remembering this actually is a vlog still, um, not a camera review, although obviously a little bit of camera reviewing going on at the same time. Um, this is Shake Shack. It's normally a queue like as long as anything, but today it's pretty small, so. I'm going to have some Shake Shack. I'm going to try and stay around the area because I've only got like an hour and a half on the battery of this. It's freezing today. It's really cold. I also going to pick some of these uh, Christmas presents up so we'll try a bit of indoor shooting too. Actually the camera button's really convenient. Like look. Off. Oh, just sit and wait for my food. It's a nice like kind of a winter's day. Everyone's kind of relaxed and peaceful going just doing a bit of Christmas shopping. I'm sure there's some parts where there's absolute carnage around here, especially trying to get last minute gifts. I'm one of them. Excuse me. Oh, wow. 
Why? Looks good. Now I'm going to go and do some last minute Christmas shopping that I need to do. Um, it's a couple of presents that I just thought of as well. I think it'd be really quite nice. There's probably about I don't know, 80 minutes left of the camera. Uh, another way to get around New York. Ambulance. Now, even though it says FDNY, and it's very confusing, they're also partnered with them as well. But you have to come here first, so just get a bite, I'm fine. How does this not look? Maybe for the cats? It's too small to shove Melissa in it. There's a lot of what I would call crap. My brother calls it presents that go in the front room, meaning crap. go get uh, a couple of last minute Christmas presents uh, but so not to ruin the surprise because obviously it's going to go up for Christmas we're going to take a little break see you in a minute okay, I got cold again so I've nipped into another shop uh, just to keep myself a little bit warm because I'm freezing to death like it here I have like a kid in a kid's talk look Hockey sticks, gloves, bags, helmets, ooh, ooh. skates, lots of skates. A bit expensive compared to the local ice rink, but they always have a good selection. So New York doesn't have like a big German market. I know Christmas markets at the moment are a little bit hot in the news, but New York has lots of little ones spread around everywhere. I'll show you around the one in Union Square, it's quite nice and it's a nice feel. Presents that quite either smell good or taste good, things like that. I thought I could smell it. These are the best um, truffles you can get. Absolutely fantastic. So as you can see, it's really busy. Um, it's very nice though. Everyone's kind of going the right direction of work, walking in the right kind of flow. now getting a bit daft. For those who follow Casey Neistat, um, when he spoke to his father about how to set up Beam originally, they met in a coffee shop and it's that one just over there. Fun fact. <laughs> okay so I'm freezing cold again. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna take this back to Sony and then go home where it's warm. Feed the cat. from the Sony Square um, center again. How have I found this? I think if I was using a tripod, it'd be a little bit more easier than how I'm currently handling it. I'm also being a little bit more cautious because obviously it's not my camera. Um, I'm not having seen what really the footage looks like yet, but yeah, there's definitely some pros to having an actual uh, camera over my phone, like the lenses, the settings. The fact that I just have it like always in video record mode, I can just press the button. I hardly ever usually use photographs. One thing I do is that the fact that Sony allows you to lease the camera or loan it. Um, 
so you can try it out, see how it works for you, is great. Like, this is $1,100 worth of kit. The way that the phone is able to be like a remote for it, you can viewfind, that's really good as well. And the fact that they're kind of like smart cameras in a way, so there's applications now for them, so that's pretty cool. About photography always has been about lenses, like that's why you always have adaptable lenses and you have a good body, so that you can then um, allow more lighting, allow more control, etc. The iPhone only has really like two lenses now, um, so it's a little bit limiting on what it can actually perform. And here we are again. Hello again. Right. Fucking freezing. Yeah. This guy's awesome. If you come to the Sony store, he knows a shit ton about photography, videos. Do you got Instagram? I do, I do, I do. Find him on Instagram. What's your Instagram name? It's BXELV1. Great stuff, you'll really like it. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Feels like I've got a package from Fortnum and Mason.